Y'all want to know something that's extremely dangerous? Yo. I don't even I don't even drink sodas. If I do drink a soda, it's a ginger ale. Um, and that's every now and then. <clears throat> or it's a tonic. But I got a barbecue tray today from a new place I checked out. Uh, Fatty's Barbecue. 49th Street. Um, headed towards Gulfport. Check him out. Good food, good prices. Check him out. He he new to the location, so check him out. You do lunch special and stuff like that too. Um, hey, he is that you get a free soda with your you get a soda with your, your meal. I got a rib dinner. Try it out, man. I'm like, nah, I don't even. He like, nah, take your take your drink, take your drink. I'm like, so I took it. Man, I put this thing in the freezer. Yo, yeah, I can see how you can get addicted to sodas. Um, I'm glad I'm not. Never really been a huge soda drinker, but man, this thing right here, man. crispy man check I give it to you I give it to you check oh, man put your thirst in check golly I'm you're gonna be thirsty after you drink this but this right here man this is like cracking a candy I never did crack but I can imagine golly a strawberry check who would ever thought I don't know the last time I had one of these. <clears throat> and it's like a little slushy too. It got a little slush to it. Man. <sighs> Parents, keep this away from your kids, man. If you overweight, look at what you're drinking. If you can't seem to uh <clears throat> to drop weight, look at what you're drinking. If you're drinking these, even if it's the diet. If you drinking this stuff here, you're going to keep that weight on. It's going to be hard to come off. You, you, you waste your time. You got to cut this stuff out. I was I was at, <clears throat> I got up to 220. I'm 178 now. I, I fluctuate between 175 and 178, right? But I was drinking a lot. I was drinking uh, flavored uh, drinks, flavored vodkas. Mixing it with the soda, the Sprite. I wasn't doing no syrup, but I was drinking that flavor of vodka, mixing it with that Sprite. I was drinking that dog liquor, mixing it with that Coke. Excuse me, Coke to drink, not no Coke that you put in your nose. I don't do drugs. Um, and I was eating like Popeyes three, four times a week. I was eating out almost every day of the week. Living rock star lifestyle, man. Not exercising like I should have, and. I was sipping on these things, man, with the drink, mixing them with the drink, mixing them with the drink. Man, once I stop this stuff here, with all that alcohol, all that fast food, all that stuff that tastes so good, but it got so many preservatives in it, man, I start shredding. Melting away. Thought people thought I was on drugs. And I was on drugs. That you know what I'm saying? <sighs> Make you shake. Make you do the Ooh. Man. That's um red. Mm. Man, check. But yeah, check. Well, y'all got y'all one right here, boy. Y'all got y'all one. If y'all gonna keep putting, man, I know y'all gonna keep selling them, but man, if I was a nine to five worker, 
I'll come work for y'all, man, in y'all marketing department. To get me to come work for y'all now, y'all gotta cut that check, but I got some idea, but I don't wanna I I wouldn't want to sell this, man, because it's not good for you. If they could find a way to make it healthy, sparkling beverage that didn't have all this stuff in it. The 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 corn syrups. The high fructose corn syrup, the, the uh, sodium benzates, that's this is a preservative. And then you got the, your coloring. And we all know about that red, that red dye. That's not good for your insides, man. So if we could find a way just to, you can give me a strawberry flavored, you know, sparkling beverage without the coloring, without the added sugars. You know, try to make it somewhat healthy. Got 48 grams of sugar in here. 48 grams of carbohydrates. 30 milligrams of sodium. No protein. No fat. Added sugar is 96%. Dang. 180 calories in one can. And some people look at that and like, oh, it's only 180 calories. Man. And one serving per can. One can is one serving. Yeah, man. Check. Well, y'all got your own right here, man. This stuff right here is addictive. I see why everybody be selling them and people be buying them. Because <clears throat> they good. I'm not going to lie. It's good. This is thing right here knocking. I ain't going to lie. Having a flashback as, as a kid, <clears throat> you know, running around Goose and the Ranger, and the ice cream truck come through. Get out there with a couple of quarters in your pocket, man. Get your cold check cola or RC cola. Uh, get you that RC cola or get you a check. Yeah. Uh, my favorite was the jungle juice. Jungle juice, man. Is, the jungle juice tastes just like the check lift without the carbonation. I was drunk jungle juice all the way till I was up in high school till I couldn't find them no more. <clears throat> yeah, man. Get you a hot sausage. Or a pig, pick, pig feet. Well, we ain't call them pickle pig feet. We just know they get your pig feet. Pickle eggs. You know, some candy. And, uh, yeah, man, all that trash we was eating away from, from kids. The Cassio picking them nice, ain't it? Ooh, I got, I got another one coming, too. That new one going to slap y'all here hard. Yeah, man. You can't wear the... I like, man, I really like this watch. This is almost like my everyday watch unless I'm going out. Even when I go out. It could be to a fancy place. I still put this watch on and I get compliments about this watch almost every time I wear it. Yeah, I really, I really like this watch. It's a cheap watch too. But inexpensive, I wouldn't say cheap. It's inexpensive. Uh, yeah, parents, you want to get your... I mean, all, parents, always get your sons, at least your sons, your daughters, you know, but especially for young men, they need to have a watch. Make that part of their their, uh, their their attire, their wardrobe, their uniform, whatever you want to call it. Get them a watch. Get them one or two. Get them a sports watch. Get them something like something like this. They can feel classy in a little bit. And it change your vibe. I'm telling you, man. A watch will change your whole suit. You know what I'm saying? How you sipping on these check colors. <laughs> but nah, man. But yeah, I just want—I had a man comment on this check, man. I got it because I went and got some barbecue. It came with the meal. I'm glad I did, but now I gotta go drink some kombucha. I gotta go drink some kombucha. Yeah, we got a kombucha coming too. Yeah, we got some um working on something new, the new uh little venture, trying to see if we can work out this little partnership. With a uh, a this uh, up and coming kombucha company, local. Um, so yeah, man. 
I got some big things coming. The fresh washer business. <laughs> Did you know you can get a $218 fine from code enforcement if you're in Pinellas County? Um, if you get a violation for your property being dirty. So, don't get a $218 fine. Call Big Pressure. You know, we'll come out, hook you up, man. Take care of you so you ain't got to pay that fine plus get it clean. You know, but yeah, that's uh, something a lot of people don't know. You can't get a fine from code enforcement for having a dirty property that needs to be pressure washed. And that's all they're going to tell you to do. You need to get a pressure wash within 30 days. Yeah, that's crazy, right? So, uh, yeah, man, parents, start monitoring what your kids eating. Definitely keep watching what they're eating. And if they sipping on these stuff here, and I know they are because they when they come to school, they got sodas, they have energy drinks, the monsters. Excuse me. They don't need that stuff, man, especially early in the morning. Now, those kids do not need that stuff. I understand if they want to have a, a, a carbonated beverage at lunchtime, that's cool. But those kids do not need to be drinking no monsters. They come to school with two, three monsters. Then they're not eating lunch, but I see them drinking a monster, but they're not eating lunch. So, uh, yeah, parents, watch what your kids be eating and tell them what to get and what not to get. School has a plethora of options. You can get a parfait. You can get a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, which I get every now and then. They're not bad. So, I get them. Um, an entree, pizza, nuggets, fries, uh, they have all types of stuff. You get a salad every day if you want. Buffalo chicken salad. Oh, points. Yeah, man, you get a wrap. Um, you got a different choice of ham and cheese. So don't let them fool you and say that they need money to go to the corner store in the morning and get junk food for lunch. No. And this man, check y'all guys out one right here, baby. If y'all, hey, if y'all, if y'all need me to come up with some ideas and how we can do, I won't mind helping y'all with the marketing for the healthier one. All right? I think we can do it. You know what I'm saying? You know why I rock with y'all? Cause look at the name. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I like that. I like that. Y'all came up where I came up from, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Keep it straight. Yeah, on five five crab. <laughs> shout out Crip Mac too, man. I gotta give a shout out to Crip Mac. He's one of the dudes on the line that's changing the way um, the gang banging culture is is looked at. He's trying to change it, you know. Um, hope somebody around him helps him really lock in on it. So I hope somebody good step in around and don't take advantage of him, you know, and lock in around him. Cause uh man, he he can he has the potential to really change some lives, especially the young dudes that's really out there in the streets that he can get right next to. So that's what we gotta do, man. Uh yeah, shout out Super Barbecue, uh big pressure pressure washer. Shout out Banky Pound. And, uh, man, I'm just man, I'm just Excited for people that's doing positive things, man, and making transitions and transformations in life. Cause you only get 24 hours in a day. So hopefully this message here, whoever sees it, may may help you in some type of way. You know, I'm gonna finish the check though. Excuse me. Hey, I'm out of here, man. <laughs>